Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Keystone Film Review. We are inside right now. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Not in of a car. Not in a car. In of a room. With a of bunch a of house. distractions. We're in the room of a house. My movie room. It's probably really junky back there. Didn't bother cleaning it up. But we just watched The Gray Man, directed mm -hmm. by the Russo brothers uh, of uh, Avengers uh, fame, you mm -hmm. could say, starring Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, Jessica Henwick, uh, Danush, Alfred Woodard, not Viola Davis. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and uh, Raj Jean Page. I probably butchered that. Uh, and a few other people that you would probably recognize. Uh, this, of course, is, I believe it's just Netflix. If it is in theaters anywhere, it is probably very limited release to L.A., New York. Yep. Nothing really came out this week that we really wanted to see. And if we wanted to see it, we're probably going to see it with small children. And we don't do kid-friendly reviews that often. So. No, we fucking don't. Fuck that. No. Uh, so I had zero interest, really, in seeing this. I'm not a huge fan of the Russo brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they uh, their shot choices are boring. Uh, although in this, I think they might have heard me, because they overcorrected significantly. <laughs> Uh, pretty much every other shot was a obnoxious drone shot, yep. and it was some, not pretty. Some sort of regular shot that went into a Dutch. So what are the chances that uh, they did hear me? Uh, zero, probably. To three, at least. <laughs> zero, to, zero to three. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know if uh, you know Marvel really held on to their, uh, their reins when it came to shot choices. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but... The shots in this were just so obnoxious. I did not care for it. They were what you would call a choice. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, they were a choice. Uh, but overall, what did you think of the movie? Let me go into some backstory like this movie did. Yes. Uh, I had tried to watch this movie briefly for about three minutes before I was like, my attention span is not going to be on this because I'm a busy boy. But thank you to Steven for recommending this to us because Super Pets is a thing. Like the flashback that I just did just now, that's what happened in the movie. But halfway through the movie, where did that come from? I don't know. Where did it go? Cotton Eye Joe. Exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, this movie is a movie. It, it do movie. And there's it a did. reason why it movie. Because Netflix paid for it to happen. I don't know. I think what I just said was perfect context of everything. Because I think this movie's <laughs> just okay. I think it's more like every other Netflix movie that really comes out. Especially action ones. Um, yeah. Where they're kind of just mindless nonsense. And they're not movies that you're ever really going to remember too often, honestly. At, at least in the action genre when the Netflix ones come out. I yeah. mean, I liked uh, Extraction. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's a completely different movie. It's kind of forgettable. Like, yeah. I didn't hate my time. We sat here kind of jokingly questioning it a lot. It's um, it's a bonkers movie that doesn't really make a lot of sense, which is fine. It doesn't really need to. Yeah. Uh, but it becomes more distracting at a certain point mm -hmm. than uh, anything. Like, the, the whole plot of this is that they're trying to get rid of these old operatives who were uh, ex-felons that they brought in, into the CIA to do assassin jobs and everything, and they're, uh, the, the new regime... His whole part is kind of stupid because he's trying to get rid of these ex-felon assassin people uh, by killing them, and he, he's just creating more work for himself because these are people that didn't really want the jobs to begin with. They just wanted out of prison. Mm -hmm. So if you just paid them to go away, they probably would. Mm -hmm. So it's really just a, 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 a non-issue that he creates himself, uh, and it just becomes this whole clusterfuck where he gets this college guy played by Chris Evans who is a sociopath to do the <laughs> CIA's work for him yep. and creates even more work for himself. It's just people creating more work for themselves. And, and by creating more work just more or less called global terrorism. Global terror, which is, which for the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, is more work for themselves. Yeah. So the it's a very stupid concept, and again, it doesn't need to be a sound concept. It can be whatever the fuck it wants, but it is more distracting than they probably wanted. And like even us dum dums were questioning like every single thing. And like for, for the guy who played the head CIA guy, he did really good at playing an absolute dickhead. So good for him. Not intimidating that. at all, though. Not intimidating. He just 
was, he was a good dickhead, yeah. But he was <laughs> he was a good dickhead. <laughs> he played I, a good dickhead. He was an absolute that character just was just painfully agonizing to just listen to whenever he was just it just as soon as he walked in, he was like, Well, first I'll fuck you. I'm the head of this. And you're dumb. You're dumb. There's no reason you should be so dumb, but you're dumb. And I, I yeah. want to fucking kill you for that. And that's mm-hmm. basically his whole character in a nutshell. It's like, I can do your job but better than you, but I don't because I hired you to do that job. Yeah. And that's all it was a lot. He did really good at that. But the character was sucked so much ass. Yeah, it was bad writing, but he, he did a good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Chris Evans just chewed the scenery so much. He, he was completely over the top. Um, honestly, one of the worst written villains ever. He was a dumb villain. Good villains are usually smart and make sense. He yeah. was not smart and did not make sense. And it was just evil for evil's sake with a zero I feel like rhyme he, or reason. He usually picks his movies better than that, but I'm sure it's the Russo brothers. So he yeah, was he's, like, he's, yeah, he wanted to work with the Russo brothers again. But like, it felt like um, it could have been played by anybody else, and it would have it would have probably fit better. Yeah, but you know, um, I don't know. I think he he did fine. I just think it was just. A lot. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every actor in this does a pretty good job, but yeah. the writing is so bad. Uh, writing by uh, one of the Russo brothers and then a couple other people, and it's also based on a book. Uh, the writing in this is so bad that it's just it. It there are a few like humorous parts in it, but you could tell they're trying to be way funnier than it actually is, mm-hmm. just by the way they talk. Uh, and and a lot of the funny parts are actually like the dry moments where someone just has like a very honest reaction to something that yeah. anyone would have like I mean, mostly just ryan gosling just yeah be like uh or what, what the hell was it? oh yeah blood lots of blood yeah just stuff like that just yeah just little moments that are really funny but yeah. not as a whole really funny yeah but i didn't care for it overall it's got horrible cgi some of the worst cgi i've ever seen now which coming from the russo brothers is not surprising because marvel movies have terrible cgi so they probably just learned to have terrible CGI from Marvel, thinking that it's top tier, but it's not. Also, I um, don't know when they started filming this, but it could be due to the pan ED. I, I don't think it I is. I don't but. think so either, but benefit of the doubt, I guess. Just another one of those action, like I was saying, Netflix action yeah. movies. That Extraction was really good, and then yes. the rest have been like, eh. Uh, so yeah, I, I would agree. Um, overall, it's... If you got nothing else to do, sure, check it out. But like, you're not gonna miss anything if you don't watch this. It's yeah, it's kind of it's dumb and dull. Just very slightly. Definitely glad we didn't watch it in the theaters though, because this yeah. was not a theater. Movie. Oh, speaking of theaters, like I, I have like a home surround sound system, so sound in my my movie room is usually pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I kept messing with the, the settings in this while watching it because it just sounds horrible and nothing I did made it sound good so I'm convinced that the sound design is just trash not all but a lot of the the gun sound effects just sounded like paintball guns I don't know if you felt that way a little bit Uh, granted I have no idea what a compressed gun sounds like so like a gun with a compressor might sound like that I've never heard it so if I'm wrong just tell me in the comments I legitimately would like to know just yell and scream Uh, but I... It, it, it sounded like paintball guns for the majority of it, and there was a few scenes where they sounded like real guns, but they were just so suppressed, and there's hardly, like, any bass in this, which is weird for an action movie. No treble. No, no, no bass. No, all treble, no bass. No, you got me there. Yes. <laughs> Ratings as far as I personally go, I'm gonna, I think I might be a little generous. Uh, two generous. and a half. Two and a half. I feel like it's pretty okay, generous. Okay, okay. Uh, um, I wasn't completely bored with it, but, you know, it... it it definitely lacked a lot. Yeah. I wasn't bored with it either. It's, I will never go out of my way to watch it again. If it had a better sound, I would probably give it a two and a half, but I'm going to go with a two. Mm. Um, again, didn't hate watching it, didn't hate it overall, but it, it's not really good. So two for me. There it is. Yes. What did you think of The Gray Man if you have seen it? Uh, did you enjoy it more than we did? Do you think the Russo brothers have heard me complaining about their horrible <laughs> shot choices and decided to overcorrect? Zero out of three, remember? Because while I was watching this, I was just like, the first time it happened, I was like, oh, they're trying something new. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Good for them. And then it just kept happening and kept happening. And it just, I don't know if you've seen videos of drone races. Yeah. Where they nice. race through stadiums. They, it felt like that. They did a lot of droney stuff. Yeah. So there's that. But what did you think? Mm-hmm. Let us know. Tell us. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. 
Smooches. Mm.